All right, we are back. Chapter four, Primrose, final chapter of her. We're gonna get revenge of this dude who I remember stabbed her. She almost died. That wasn't cool. But there's more to the story than that though. And we will find out. The story so far. In her hometown of Noble Corps, Primrose brought down the second of her sworn foes. There, she was also reunited with her childhood friend Simeon. He approached her tenderly, yet what he bore was the gift of pain. Simeon's scars unraveled, grasped in Primrose's fingers as he fell, laying bare the mark of the foul crow on his neck. The friend she cherished so dearly was the last of her foes, the man who had brought death to her father and ruined her family. What motives could the man have for his vile deeds? Primrose could not begin to imagine, but it mattered little, for her ultimate goal was clear. It will all, all will come to an end in Everhold. So this is the stage for the final act. I fear it won't be a happy ending for you, Simeon. Answer. Well, this is quite the mystery. What is, Professor? I'm puzzled as to why there is a theater here, of all places. He took it upon himself to refurbish an old castle. But I just can't fathom why all that time and effort does it matter. At this point, I don't think we should be surprised by anything they do. If you say so. In any case, we are in enemy territory now. We must proceed with caution. Certainly, do not fret about that, Professor. More banter. How are you holding up? I'm fine. I can handle him. If you say so. But that man's not just wicked. He's cunning too. There's no telling what tricks he'll try to pull. Be ready for anything. Thanks for the advice. I'll watch out. Huh. <laughs> What? It just occurred to me. I never thought having companions would actually give me courage. Courage is all well and good, but so is vigilance. Don't let your guard down. I don't intend to. I look forward to seeing what you can do as well. <laughs> I'll be sure to give you a show. All right, we're going in. Oh, what side was you? I'm not gonna be all that one. I don't care. I don't care. Good day to you. Welcome to Everhold Amphitheater. Oh, it's gonna be a show, right? Yo, this gives me like Final Fantasy 6 vibes. 
Ah, but a special guest has arrived. Welcome. Welcome, truly. Fortune smiles upon me this night. The curtain is about to rise. I trust you will enjoy the show before you go on your way. Of course. I own this theater. I come from time to time to enjoy the crowds and the ambiance. Needless to say, I also pen the production we're putting on today. It's a tale of a young, noble woman's life. Not a particularly original topic, but to be sure. But nevertheless, I did write it for you, Primrose. How touching. But I'm afraid I came for a different kind of show. <laughs> Have you now? To have made it this far alive, it will seem you, too, have fortune on your side. Perhaps I do. But I think you'll be feeling less fortunate when the night is over. Ooh, I like that. They go on later, psych. We're going at it. Prepare to die, Simeon. <laughs> Such strong words. But I ask you, my dear Primrose, are you prepared for what awaits you? You have my deepest respect, Primrose. Truly, you do. It is not an easy road you have chosen, is it? You're wrong. I have only walked a path I had to walk. Oh? Oh, now. Is that so? <laughs> Come now! But enough prologue. Let the show begin. We're getting a play. All hark on onto the tale of a girl, pure and true, who in her all too fleeting life. No such misery as no other ever knew. Our daughter, our precious girl. Thank the heavens. She is healthy and whole. She has your look about her, my lord, and a cry as strong as your cry in battle. <laughs> this is good. She will need to be strong, indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her shoulders. <laughs> you ask Musk of a newborn babe. It is no wonder she cries so. Quite right. You were paid her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. One who will treat all she meets with respect and compassion. Yes. We will. Hmm. When she is a woman grown, we will fashion her for her. We will fashion for her the finest suit of armor. Well, her path did not go this way at all. And the finest gown as well. 
she must stand out in the ballroom as well on the battlefield after all. Oh my. Look, she smiled. <laughs> Even in her smile, she takes after you, my lord. Yes, she'll be a strong woman one day. What am I doing? I cannot let myself be distracted by this, this mockery. Go and see. Of course we're going to steal everything we can. Anyway, let me see if I get some info from you. A hidden item. That's... Oh, it's a chest day. Hold on, let me get this first. Bottle of blinding dust. Plum basket. Nice. Oh ho! I don't think I'm gonna need a seat. Is anything else hidden? Are you sure? At your service. This is the way to the second floor. But first, run it. Here we go. Dungeon time. Where do I go first? Can I not go there? Oh man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long one. There we go, like I was waiting for a, Let us a, a battle. Let me surprise your foe. I am ready. She is always ready. Oh, she needs to. The peacock struck. Oh, I did not fucking heal. <laughs> Party. I already have that. Like she's wearing it right now. Twenty thousand. Next. 
Yo, Cyrus, it's like, <laughs> you coming MVP. You might be MVP. I don't get these, why do put, why put stairs there? Is this for aesthetic? Weakness might be elemental. I'm ready. What next? Could be arrow. With them trying to get it out. I honor thee, my quarry. me then be hunting letting the hunt begin it He just like wipes everybody.
I'm not sure the play that guy. Coming I should be. About to level up. Why would you put that there? Uh oh. Come on, really? In front of the save point? Take one and a You can take it. Cyrus surpassed Dereon. That's crazy. Dereon was like my number two for so long. to dance so gracefully, my little lady. <laughs> I've been practicing for you, father. I see. Is that so? You have scraped your knees? Show me. You have been practicing long and hard. This I can see. Primrose. Primrose, forgive me. For what, father? Oh. I have been too hard on you, my daughter. Burden you over much with my expectations. Mm -hmm. Do not worry for me, father. I am strong. And I will do anything for the glory of house as a heart. That is what I believe in, my reason for being. <laughs> mm. 
You are a strong girl, Primrose. You do our family proud. But someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. Father. Enough of this. I must keep moving. This man's a real a hole for like doing this, playing these mind games. Well met. Degradation. What the hell is that? I wish they could like. I wish they would explain these skills. Steel defenses. Second half of this dungeon. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Out of my way. Hmm. Do that. I was thinking behind. This is not gonna work. Oh no. Oh, that worked out. Everything worked out perfectly. Against me, 
then be hunting. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and she leveled up. Alright, let's get this going. This seems to be the final. Okay. okay. Just in case, because you never know, stuff can happen. I think this is it the showdown. <laughs> Didn't even look like her father, no. Why did you have to die? Why did you leave me? Oh, woe with me. How am I to go on without you? Ugh. I've only done as my conventions bade me do. I have no regrets. I remember the scene. Oh. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this the life you lead easily. Father. <laughs> you took my father from me. This. And for that, Simeon, you will pay. <laughs> oh, Father. Hmm. Little lady, why do you cry so? No matter how dark the night, look to the stars and carry hope in your heart. You are... Who... who are you? Wait, is this, is this guy doing the play? Portraying himself as the good guy? <laughs> I'm coming for you, Simeon. My journey is nearly over. It all ends tonight. I thought this was the end. I hear some banter real quick. Primrose. That oh, must be calm, Primrose. But I. Oh, I'm not fooling you, am I? Is it so obvious? I. 
I understand thy feelings. It is a shameful thing to mock in another life for entertainment. Yet such a thing he dareth to do and I will that he praying for his wickedness. Of course I will yield it to thee the final blow, but ere that I will land a few of my own. Yeah. Did I say something funny? How angry you're getting on my behalf. It's quite charming, really. Why should I not? We are comrades. Nay, friends? Friends. Yes, I suppose we are. So we were about to fight. I was fooled. My turn. Um. Well, shoot. I mean, I could just break the candle. Yes. What? Excuse me? You missed? You missed. You really missed. Come in, if thou darest. There's something here. Have I been here? I don't even know. I gotta find out. Picked the wrong weapon. Oh no. I am ready. I am doomed. Letting the hunt begin it. Anger and not. I could have sworn he had a bow. Yo, what is going on? I am ready. How are you missing? How? Good. I don't want to waste no more. SP with Cyrus. 
I have to find out. I don't know if this is. Did I pass this area and I just ignored it? This is one big circle. Is this, no, it's not. It wasn't okay. We got something out of it. Let us begin. What are these dudes? The first time I see these dudes. Out of my way. Yo, carry on. We we need to talk. This missing attack. This is not not cool. Like I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling this. Let's get this going so we can end this. How was that? You saw that was like a. This has to be the fight. So. so kind as to not interrupt this is one of my favorite scenes you know perhaps you care to watch it with me I saved the best seat in the house for you oh this guy's an a-hole he's like no. torturing me You know what I've come to do. Come now. No, no, let's not rush things. I invited you for a reason. That's... Invited me? You tried to kill me. <laughs> I took care to stab you in the right place that you could have lived or died. It's a certainty that makes for true drama, you see. If you had died, the play would have ended. But if you live, the next act could begin. Hmm. I would have been satisfied with either outcome, of course. There are many number of ways to end a tale. But live you did, and now you have Dutifully taking the sage to play out your role in this tragedy. <laughs> Such a delightful show. Let's not lower the curtain yet. Hmm? <sighs> Must you look at me with such a face? Are you too not an artist of sorts? Surely you can appreciate the beauty in this. All the suffering, the pain I humans are capable of feeling, condensed into a few brief yet sumptuous hours. Theater is life, 
and life is theater. Surely you can see this, yes? Your life was a pure, beautiful tragedy from the moment you were brought into the world as a squalling babe. How many times in your life have you felt blessed to be here? When has life ever seen the gift? This world is nothing but pain eye behind the point of bearing. Constant inescapable darkness. I will tell you the only joy I have found in life. Watching the lives of others fall apart. The sweet fantasy that people imagine their existences to be in bed, inevitably crack then shatter to pieces. And I savor the tragedy of each and every downfall because of, oh, it is delicious. That one moment, that glorious instant when I see a man, a woman lose all hope, that is the only time I feel I truly feel alive. Do you understand now, Primrose? Your love for your father and his for you. It was a beautiful, fleeting thing. But it was all the more beautiful to see it all come apart. That's right. I thank you, Primrose, for inspiring me so. You have lived all this time for the sake of your revenge. You clipped the left of my wings and then the right. And now you stand before me, your true foe. But do you not find yourself wondering? what your father would say if he could see you now? Do you truly believe this is what he would have wanted for you? To throw away all your hopes and dreams for the sake of revenge? My father is gone. I don't think he'd be happy at all. I think he'd say this. Live not for me, for I am dead and gone. You must find your own happiness. Father. Primrose, will you dance for me once more? I wish to burn the sight of you into my memories, but it shall never fade. Yes, Father. She will need to be strong, indeed. For the future of our house 
will one day rest upon her shoulders. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. Quite the dancer yourself, in the end. And I know that deep down, you have a good heart. Primrose, you must find that faith in yourself. I will send you to your father's side. Now to remain. Lady Primrose, what do you believe in? She will be strong. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. Yes. It reminds me of a fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. This man should not live a moment longer. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> but someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. I... I... What has this all been for? But no, father would understand. And this, this will be the end of it. When I plunge this dagger into your breast, it will all be over. I will finish this. Perfect. Yes, just perfect. The depths of emotion that burn in those eyes. That is the girl I fell in love with so many years ago. A woman truly worthy of my genius. Now, come to me, Primrose. And let me bring this beautiful tragedy to a close. Boss time. time oh, he got goons? Out of my way.
Why do you have a chair? Like, who do you think you are? Huh? Feel the power. Yes, it goes. What the hell is that? If thou darest. What do you do to me? Hmm. We got to figure out some weaknesses. That's Anger and nonsense. Okay. I am ready. Is it me or is it like like the words are spelled wrong? Ignis are dead. Okay, keep sitting what back. Next? Keep sitting back. I think it's gonna work. I'm ready. Um, Let yourself be healed. <sighs> Begin it. Yeah. An interesting dilemma. Ignis are dead. I appreciate it. Really. Letting my arrow fly in true. What is he weak to? Let's try. Oh, nope. There's no way I just like straight washed him like that. No, that, that can't be the end. Uh... No, no, something's not right. This isn't enough. Not yet.
We still haven't seen the full depths of the darkness inside you. Show me more, Primrose! Show me the darkest shadow in your heart! You hate this, don't you? You are full of regrets! I regret nothing. <laughs> Foolish girl! You think your father would be proud to see you like this? Bloodying your precious family heirloom for petty revenge? Tell me, have you even visited your father's grave? No. First, I must do what must be done. When I can look him in the eye and tell him he is avenged, then... And only then will I go. My poor little Primrose. How you lie to yourself so. Can't you see that you're running away? You can't bear to face your father, to show him your blood-stained hands. This was never about avenging your father, was it? You were simply trying to fill the emptiness in your heart. But you couldn't accept that. So you twisted your memories of your father beyond recognition, until you convinced yourself that he would want this! <sighs> it's true, isn't it? You speak nonsense. How did it feel when you killed my men? Did that fill the hole in your heart even a tiny little bit? Enough! Shut up! You can admit it, Primrose. You don't need to be strong anymore. Stop it! Just... stop. You have no place in my heart any longer. Father. Can I tell you something, Father? Something I've never told anyone before. The truth is... I hated it. I hated my life without you. I hated the loneliness. I hated not having you by my side. But it's almost over now. Please, Father. Forgive me. Come now, Primrose, it's okay. Abandon this madness, my dear girl. You don't need to lie to yourself any longer. That hard look on your face doesn't suit you. You know you were made for softer things.
I am Lady Primrose of House Azelheart. And I swear on my ancestor's name. And on my father's blade. I will not lose faith. My faith shall be my shield against you! Okay. The real fight. Yep, this is the real fight. This is definitely the real fight. I know, like, wait a minute, he got washed that first round. I'm like, there's no way that was it. Was that electricity? And darkness? Out of my way. I appreciate it, really. Letting my arrow fly in true. Out of my way. Alright, now we begin the shenanigans. Transfer Feel the power. What's this now? Oh, he's only looks in that. Silence? When did that happen? Why did he silence me? Well, let's see. Okay, she goes. Oh no. No one can use it. Let's try this. You feel my SP? I am ready. You girl, you wanna. Heal the party. Bring about a miracle of healing. Come in if thou dance. What is what dagger is this? This is my only. What I could do. Yeah. Better than a snare. Whoa! Okay, he came prepared. This dude came prepared. Shoot. I need to get rid of this. Oh wait, I still have... Does that... Do the items count? Damn, it doesn't. At least take Here. him off. Yeah. Now the guessing game. Okay, we got one bug that doesn't really count. I don't know what the other move does. No, do the other one. The mental, whatever. Okay, well you. I'm gonna learn your weaknesses. Fire. So just in case he needs to heal. I'm ready. You should like to heal now. But what she will do. Give my boy Cyrus his buff. Let's try our luck. I mean she still is hard. Are 
I wasted that boom turn. Oh, he's got it back. Okay. But still, this would have been like the time to do it. Feel the power. I am ready. Is it more to get this move? No. You do not survive a turn. All right, we're risking it. Of the flame. That's what I want. To say. No, not the silence. Miss. Oh damn, he beat her up bad. Okay. Now this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt, buddy. Ignis are dead. Oh, what's that? Ignis Again? Are dead. My turn. Oh, what's this? Now everybody has fire. Oh no. They just found that thing dirty, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh damn! I thought I had like a boost. Bring about a miracle of healing. Out of my way. Can I just do the? I appreciate it. Really? Now, what next? Ignis are dead. One more time. Ignis are dead. What next? No! I don't want to do that. No. I did not want to do that. I didn't want to do my attack, but what now? No. Hmm. Still got the buff. I don't know why he's weak to. Shoot. Oh, I still got him. He was that low. No, no chair. He's in the ground. And that I cool. of your heart. It was more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And now for our climax. Come, Primrose, and plunge your precious dagger into my breast. Every show must come to an end, Primrose. It is time to lower the curtain. Ah. 
And when the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow, would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer, for it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Goodbye, Simeon. Yes, Amber! That's not how it ended. I was like, that was a good ending. Father. At long last, I can face you again. I did as you always taught me, Father. I found a cause I could truly believe in, and I kept my faith. Since the day that you were taken from me, I swore I would avenge you. And avenge you I did. And yet... Even now that my long journey has ended, And I have done all that I set out to do. Why? Why does my heart... ...still ache with this hollow pain? What am I supposed to believe in now? What cause will carry me on from here? But this is something I must find for myself. And until I do... I will keep dancing. And that is it. Primrose Chapter 4 complete.